morning, family. Good morning. Today's uh, recording is dedicated to Sylvie from South Africa and Mark from Ireland. Swiss Indo team members. We are truly growing, not by numbers, but just the size of our hearts, so we can recognize each other all over the world now. Thank you. So today's uh, interesting, for me very interesting uh, subject is uh, titled Integrity as a Real Solution for Common Evil. Whoa. Have no idea. Again, have no idea. Do we determine what's common evil first? Or we discuss what the integrity is for one and what, what for the other. Let's go with what common evil is. If you think that you don't have any evil in you, then you mistake me very, very badly. This world is based start listing them again and again. This is what my task is here to remind you. There is nothing worse than ignoring how bad you are. You can start with jealousy, envy, competition, Success, fame, reaction, being better than the other, preaching dogmas, very carefully, listen, preaching dogmas. This part we'll talk in another one. So, common evil is all over, all over us. Energetically, like we are dipped into the way of existence that is based on materialism, that it's based on profit, that it's based on excess of material things and excess of usage. If you consider even the electrical power, we create much more than it's actually necessary for us to lead a, a town or or a, or an area just to be able to whatever save it when the, the water is not accessible anymore or we don't have coil to burn anymore so energetically it's a completely completely detrimental way like it's the same as you buying 20 pieces of clothes and you can only wear one at a time i'm not saying that you don't have to spare one but if you consider, go in your closets and you'll see how many things people hoard. When you do hoarding, what is your actual subliminal message of your, of your let's call it, uh, like inner afraid being? That you are going to be in lack in a very near future. Or, 
if you have to have more than others then you are in a in a confusion of you have to be better than somebody else so these are the old tricks possible that the world in which we lived has to be transmuted and the only way to transmute this common evil like I call it you know dark side of the humanity that all of us have we have to build our integrity and integrity is a key it's like a, a, a golden key to the treasure box so integrity So to work on, on a solution for this common evil in this world, integrity is the golden key. Now we can discuss what integrity means. For each one of us, it's a quite a different story. But from my perspective, from my view, is the first step is integrity becomes very strong when you start recognizing what is good and what is not, or what is bad, what is good and what is evil. So this is why I'm, I'm actually approaching this way to talk to you about what common evil means for me. For you can be whatever, but it's just from the perspective of this particular mind and eyes and heart this is what it is so recognizing bad in selfishness excess materialism uh, reaction argument delusion control when we recognize this then we can work with what is actually opposite of all of these and this is where we're building our integrity. And it takes time. It's not in an instant, like, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Maybe the concept will come to you, but you have to become very disciplined. You have to discipline your behavior, your way of thinking, your way of approaching things. So, another way to build integrity is to discover the purpose in your life. Why are you here? Why God gave you this great opportunity? And that's another way of integrity building. It's think about life as an opportunity. Think about illness as opportunity. Think about not, uh, uh, let's call it, not having enough as an opportunity to actually give whatever you have to somebody else. And another way is integrity means to become a successful human, not just become a successful, fashionable, become successful humans. Shit, I'm talking, can't